Hello Year 10, this is the second video introducing the um, elimination method of solving simultaneous equations. Um, the first one we had a look at, uh, we found that it comes down to what are the variables and what are the coefficients. And remember the variables in this, this example here was k and m. And then I've highlighted the coefficients, the numbers before the variables. And we found, we found that when um, the variables are the same in the, with the same, sorry, the coefficients are the same with the same variable, we subtract variables are the same, we subtract 2 minus 2 is 0, 2k minus 2k is 0, and then what we've done is eliminate one variable so then we can solve it and then finally when we've solved it we can use this solution to sub, uh, sub in back to one of the other original equations to find out the other variable. Well in this case here is a lot of the process this is the same we've got um, variables are x and y in this case x and Y, and I'll just highlight, oh no, we better write them out first, I'll write them out, um, equation 1, X plus 3Y equals 7, and equation 2, 4X minus 3Y equals 13. Okay, so our varium variables are there, coefficients, well that one there is 1, 4, plus 3, minus 3. Okay, that's uh, 1 there, I'll just leave that, that's 1. Now we're going to do this time, because we've got variables that are all different to each other, we look at ones that are closely related and we can see that for y, we've got opposite ones. We've got a plus 3 and a minus 3. Now in this case we can use that to eliminate the y variable. Because what we can do is when we get uh, the coefficients are opposite we add them. Opposite coefficients we add. Just to show you on a calculator Uh, um, plus 3 plus minus 3 so I'm just adding 3 and minus 3 together what do we get? 0, that's what we want so when the coefficients are opposite opposite then we must add the two equations together. Back here, coefficients are the same, we subtract. Same equals subtract. Opposite, we add. So we're going to add these two together to eliminate this one. So let's see what we end up with. Let's um, add these two together, we get 7 and 13 is 20. When we just, we just did that one, plus 3y minus 3y, oh, we're going to add, sorry, plus 3y, add minus 3y, we end up with nothing. And then, that's important to understand that, when we add plus 3y to minus 3y, we end up with nothing. Now we, then we just add the x terms. 1x and 4x is 5x. So now we've just left with the x variable, which is what we want. 5x equals 20. And we, from then we can simplify to x. We divide by 5. x equals 4. We have a solution. One part of the solution. x equals 4. Now what did we do before? Use this to sub in to 1 or 2. 
Oh, we're going to do that as well. Use this to sub in to one or two. Now, in this one here, I subbed it into one. Usually you see which one's the easiest one. Um, doesn't matter, I'm going to sub this one into two. So x equals four, and then I'm going to sub it into here. So instead of four x, it's four times four, minus three y equals 13. So that's equation two. So I'll just put it in equation two. I'll put four instead of x. Four times four, minus three y, and that's 16 minus 3y equals 13. Sorry, yeah, that's right, yep. 16 minus 3y equals 13. And now what we do is take away the 16. We're left with minus 3y. 13 minus 16 is minus 3. And then we can divide by minus 3, leaves us with y equals minus 3 divided by minus 3 is 1. And there we have the second solution. x equals 4, y equals 1. Let's sub it in back here to see if... Uh, so this, this unique solution solves that one and that one both at the same time. So solving those two simultaneous equations. Remember when we're doing when the signs are, coefficients are opposite. So x equals 4, put it in here, 4 plus y is 1, 3 times 1 is 3, that works. Put x equals 4 here, 16 minus y is 1, so 3 times 1 is 3. Yep, correct that one, correct that one. So x equals 4 and y equals 1 is a solution to these two simultaneous equations when we have the coefficients are opposite which means we have to add the two together this one coefficients were the same we had a 2k and a 2k they were the same so when they're the same we subtract one from the other thank you